everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Mandana White and I'm the CEO of Smart Grid Forums. And today I'm joined by my colleague Nicholas Wetterstrand, who is the Business Development Director for Protection at the Mega Group. Welcome, Nicholas. Thank you, Mandana. I'm pleased to be here. Excellent. And of course, Mega Group are gold sponsors at the IEC 61850 Week 2021 event in October. So I'm delighted to have you here with us today, Nicholas, to give us a preview into what you'll be sharing at the event. Um, so now let's start um, at the beginning, Nicholas, in terms of Mega's involvement with the 61850 uh, community. Can you tell us a little bit about what Mega's ambitions are in this space, how you hope to be developing uh, your business in this in this niche? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this niche is something that has been growing over the past decades, I, I would say, and we have been involved with this segment since late 2000s, I would say, a supplier of equipments and, and uh, for testing, particularly in protection area. Uh, we are doing products already, uh, as you said, but we also de have in development to expand the product portfolio within testing solutions for protection related things within IEC 61850. Mm -hmm. So, but we we intend to grow with the segment, uh, and mm -hmm. we've seen the segment needs digital substation IC sixty one eight fifty is growing, uh, and that's also a place we want to be. Great. Okay. And what would you say are the unique selling points of the mega approach to sixty one eight fifty? As for our old product approach in general, I would say is to make complex things easy for the users. Uh, there was one great man in the years, Leonardo da Vinci, who said simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And I think that's very well expressed. If you can do something that is rather complex, very easy for anyone or at least any, almost anyone to understand and handle, uh, that is great. So what we do is is deve develop features to support the uh, engineers that's out there to do the work in the substations. Mm -hmm. uh, we have yeah. over the years we have some ideas that compares comparison of of uh, goose messages, automatic detection of these things that we have done, and that's still in our products. Right. OK, great. And of course, at the conference, you'll be talking about something quite unique and innovative, and that is the digital twin. Uh, you'll be helping users understand how they can leverage the latest advances in digital twin solutions for virtual relay protection testing. Um, so tell us a bit more about this. What What is the digital twin and how does it apply here? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a good question. Digital twin is actually a digital copy of a real asset. And, and we have seen these kind of things uh, when it started virtual reality started, I guess, in computer games to a couple of decades ago. But now lately, last decade, it has been also used a lot in, in the industry in general mainly as physical digital copies where you do design of, for instance, the substations, you can have relays and other assets fit there because you have a physical copy, sorry, a digital copy of the physical asset that you can place in the computer and perfectly design it. Uh, what we develop now or involved too, I would say, together with the partners in the industry is to also make functional copies, which means that you can actually test features and functions of the assets virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, that is if you have a virtual test set, and that is what we stand for, it's our part. So we have a digital twin of our physical test set that you can run a virtual test with. Right, okay, and, and how is this going to be specifically relevant to the IEC 61850 community and indeed to the subject matter of this conference? Yeah, I think the uh, IC61850 community in general, they, they were the door openers into digital stuff, into the uh, substation world, if you will. The, the, the substation and power industry in general is very conservative and don't want to go into new stuff in general. But the IC61850 has broken in and you have seen a lot of digital designs nowadays and it's increasing into 
the substation. That together with, I think, the pandemic that has shown that you need to do things differently and work uh, from, from virtual, through virtual tools and, and through the computers and so on, that has opened more eyes to, to make these kind of uh, uh, presentations. And now uh, I think the audience here is quite receptive to these kind of new technologies working digitally and so on. So that, that's why I think it's a perfect uh, part to present it here. Also, uh, in C IEC 61850, there are already simulation tools which are used uh, to, to test uh, parts of, of uh, the substation and protection schemes. But uh, this digital twin can complement and enhance these tests uh, to make it deeper and more thorough in all aspects and also test the functions of, of the assets. Right, okay. And um, so what tangible benefits do you think users can expect from this approach? There are many areas you can see uh, uh, benefits in like all the way from research and development through training to uh, pre-commissioning, commissioning and re replace even later on replace and retrofit. But uh, if we take commissioning as as an example, uh, there is a lot of time pressure in that phase normally when yeah. you do it, and and uh, you, you want to remove those errors or don't have any errors when you have a time pressure. Uh, yeah. So if you can imagine a world where you have tested everything already before you come into that stage uh, virtually, then you have a more comfort uh, travel, I would say, through that, uh, because you know that it did work back home in my office. Uh, and, and now when if something goes wrong, you know that it's possibly something physically, so a connection or an asset in the system that you have to, to uh, troubleshoot, so to speak. Uh, so that's just one aspect. Other aspects are when you work virtually, you can work in parallel, so you can be many uh, many colleagues working at the same part of the system in a different way uh, whereas if you work in the reality you would probably are doing this in in your office environment where you have your colleagues and experts next to you so you can have uh, easy answers or good support while doing some troubleshooting so that's mm -hmm. also good and also last thing i would say is complex tests where you have distance between uh, relays in different substations. Now you have everything virtually. So if you need to change the setting in a relay further away, you don't need to travel a couple of kilometers. Now, now you can do it virtually and change and fine tune and, and be ready for, for the reality, so to speak. And this is only a few aspects uh, regarding the commissioning. I will talk more about the, the more full aspects and, and, and so on, give examples in the presentation. Right, okay. And then finally, what assurance can you offer to utilities who might be concerned about the risks of moving towards this uh, new approach? Yeah, that, that's always a good question. Uh, I think most of the users, they uh, don't believe what I say, even though I say that we have tested everything to be sure that it should uh, reflect reality. Anyhow, the, we will be there to support the users that want to get into this world and, and uh, they will not be left alone to before they are in comfort uh, that it works uh, mm -hmm. as good as they expect to, to give the benefits they want uh, out of this kind of uh, features and, and thinking. Uh, also throughout the conference, uh, I am hoping to have some evidence where we have done implementations and we can present cases. So it will be a bit easier to understand maybe than just words. Right. OK, yes, that would be great in terms of having examples to refer to. Wonderful. Well, Nicholas, thank you so much for those insights and we look forward to your contribution at the event. So that's the IEC 61850 Week 2021 event um, being held on the 18th to the 22nd of October and now fully virtual on the Swap Card virtual event platform. And thank you again for your support as gold sponsor to the event. Have a good day, Nicholas. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man, Madana, and uh, it's been a pleasure to have this interview and it will be looking forward to see you in the IEC 61850 week. Likewise. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video insightful and enjoyable. We post new Smart Grid related videos every Friday at 12 CET, so please go ahead and subscribe and let colleagues in other departments and peers in other organisations know so that they can benefit too. We welcome your feedback, so if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.